that's it. Uh, yes, I think that we should um sometimes challenge uh, ourselves because if we just stand in the safe zone, we will not have the chance to uh, be um to explore to um discover the limit of um, ourselves. If uh, someone assigns assigns you extremely difficult task, so you have two options. First, making complaints repeatedly about how hard the task is and why that person uh, gives you that task in that way. Or instead of that, you choose to find a way how to finish the task as quickly as you can. Oh, I, yeah. uh, sorry, sorry. Um, I think that I go with the second choice because um, like I'm still in the process of um developing myself, and uh, I think having challenges is a part of it. And um, I have you know I I am young and um I have time. I have the strength to. maybe have mistake um when i when if i can um complete the task i will have uh, maybe um, gain some zest or if i don't complete the test i will have at least um experience to um to deal with another challenge the next time Okay, you are still young, you're on the way to uh, find yourself and on the way to find your old future. <laughs> okay, I like your mindset now. I'm not sure about the future, but I think I like your recent mindset. How much time do you spend on doing the written text in the textbook? Uh, uh, yes, um, it was about 40 minutes, but Hmm. um, we have some like um, difficult in the um, test, oh, yeah, in the exam, Begin yes, test. exam time, because, uh, Oh. no, 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 uh, writing test, because the, Mm. the electric test um, went out and we have to redo the test once again. Ah. Oh. You do it on the computer, not on the paper? Yes, on the computer. Okay. So what is the topic of the writing test? Um, it was like uh, I can't remember the name of the test. Is um, nowadays people are uh getting more overweight, and um, they tell they they tell tell me to um, give some reasons, uh, of that and um the solutions Mm. Suggest of it. mm. ah, I guess suggest the solutions. Are you confident in your ideas, your work, or you feel like? Do it <laughs> randomly. Do it as easy, easily as you can. It means try a lot to do, and um, no matter how the result is, you still feel like you are satisfied with what you have tried, what you have Uh, yes. Um, Yeah, make an effort. I think uh, I, uh, I think I can I, I'm uh, satisfied with um the test because um like they um they told us to do at least uh two hundred and fifty words but I uh, did like about more than three hundred uh three hundred and I'm kind of confident in it um about the ideas for the test I think. Um, yeah, I think I completed well. I did it properly. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you deserve to have good points, not because uh, you finished that uh, with a longer passage, just because you feel like uh, you try a lot and you think it's okay <laughs> with your ideas. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Yes, uh, yes. So you, you told me the result of the written text and you, how, how can you know the result extremely quickly? Uh, yeah, yes, because um, I remember the name of the test. Uh, it's about some um, photographer, the history. His name is like Hen Henderson. And um, I search it on Google with the name of the, of the test. Like Henderson, uh, I was writing a uh, reading test and um, the results showed up.
Mm. Only one written passage mm. or two written passages. Uh, I thought it was two, but when I complete the first one, I asked the teacher in uh, the room, and he said that there's only one page with um one task. Oh. How many sentences, mm. how many questions in the listening task? Um, is a uh, little listening is um ten ten questions. Ten questions. Yes. So it's kind of short. One part of the IELTS text, only one part. Um, uh, one part of reading text and one part of writing text. I guess the school yeah. need to test students at the beginning and intermediate levels. So if you pass the test, uh, as required, uh, you will start your English program. As soon as possible, and is it likely that almost school with the English curriculum offer students are IELTS courses? You need to take maybe IELTS one to IELTS four, and after the course at school, you can take the IELTS test. Uh, and for the students who don't pass, they need to study basic English. They need to pay more money for these courses. So it's okay. Now, of course, I will. Uh, start our lessons again with the topic questions I sent you uh, at the previous lesson. Uh, yes. The culture, already the culture is right. Yes. Uh, okay, so how about the monuments? Monuments. Mm. So first, I want to check uh, your understanding. What does it mean, monuments? Um, is uh, like a um, statue of um, a uh, history, his historical uh, character. And uh, oh. maybe they did something that um, in the past uh, to for people to um, uh, remember the day. Mm -hmm. Remember them. Uh, because the, uh, so yeah. they, okay. have, they have the positive influence or negative influence on the human being uh yes is maybe is um mostly positive i'm not sure about whether or not it also has uh negative meanings but uh monuments often refer to something uh which worth people which word being remembered by the people by the future generation remind them to feel thankful for what had happened in the past or remind people the meaningful uh, histor historical events. So I'm not sure, but I guess uh, based on my general knowledge, I think it's uh, positively influential to the, on the human being. Okay, we should remember. <laughs> um, so the first question, uh, so now we change the question a little bit to make it more easier for you. Do you notice some monuments in your hometown every time you go past by? When we talk about our hometown, I don't think I noticed any because um, I have lived in my hometown for all my life and um, uh, like the monuments become normal and um, doesn't have anything to catch my attention. So mm -hmm. I just walk, walk past them um, and ignore them. Mm. Because we don't uh, deeply understand the meaning, but the meaning of these monuments are just because the school failed to convey the meaning to the students to remember and understand the meaning of the monuments. Because our awareness is not good enough for us to notice that or just because uh, the value of the history lessons failed to meet that requirement. Uh, well, I think um, the teacher in our um, hometown, um, the history teacher, like they they teach it the other uh, they teach the lessons the best way they can and um, is mm -hmm. um I think it's just because that because that we don't have um we are not aware of the value of the things that 
the um, the people of the mon monument did in history, or we are just not like um thankful enough to mm. notice to um mm. to th to think about them. Okay. Uh, so some monuments just can be comprehended. Uh, this means some monuments uh, significance or meaning um, and the uh, important roles can be recognized by the younger generation through history lessons or nowadays younger ger generation uh, can completely find them online, maybe on in the book or on social media. Just through the history lesson or uh, our generation can completely find out in other ways. Uh, it not depends whether or not you study history well. Well, um, I think they can learn through lessons, but um, you know, the history lessons seem boring to this a uh, young generation and they usually um get um uh, they usually um get distracted throughout the lessons and uh, mm -hmm. to some people with um the passion in history they just mm -hmm. like they found documents about the history e event um mm -hmm. in books or online mm -hmm. uh, we know that the monuments are related to the meaning of history of the past events. Um, so do you think monuments nowadays also has an important role for the modern developments? Uh, I mean, it just has people. Think they, that... Yeah, okay. Uh, I think the, um, the some specific monument uh, do have the impact on um, the modern de development, but I cannot um, name you the um, the the snip of the particular name because I am not well informed enough to know about those monuments. Mm, okay. Uh, for example, one day I. Uh, went past uh, one street in Ho Chi Minh City and I see Thanh Giang. And I uh, used to study the literary, literary work, 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 like that one, okay? Uh, in literature, grade six. And when I see Thanh Giang statue, I feel like kind of proud of our nation so you just told me when you were in your hometown every time you went past the monuments and you really noticed this resistance so now you are university student have you changed your awareness about uh, uh, the monuments significance Mm, I don't think so, cause um I've only been here for like about a month, and um those monuments um in the city just feel the same as monuments in our hometown. Mm. It's the same to me. Mm. Where can you see lots of monuments in our real life? Maybe in the park, mm. or on the road, or in other public places. I think is there will be I think there will be um a lot of monuments in the museums, I think. Mm, uh, the museum. <clears throat> uh tell me some uh must visit. Must visit this means strongly recommend you visit uh that place. Tell me some must visit attractions. Uh which uh, includes monuments in the city. Um, I think there will be two uh, must visit attractions for the tourists. Like is uh, uh, they are Ho Chi Minh uh, President 
um, monuments which are uh, located, which is located in um, front of the city hall. And um, the second one is Go Long Temple, um, which you can come and visit on uh, Long Bình Ward, uh, District 9, Hồ Chí Minh City. Okay, so are these places public, really? I mean, public for free. Sorry, are these places are open to the public for free of charge, or people need to pay money to buy a ticket? Um, I think they are. They won't ask you. They won't ask you to pay to visit the monuments because, um. As such, at online, and they say it like uh, it's a must visit, um, like it's for the tourist, and it's very popular, um, and they didn't mention any fee to Yeah. enter the place, the area. So do you think it's the not serious? I mean, uh, it's okay, it's fine when the museums, uh, when the museums with these monuments, um, reminding the future, the the modern generation about the past event, and encourage them to learn more. Uh, the meaning of these monuments uh, rem uh, rem uh, remind them how to remind them and teach them how to appreciate what we have done today because of the uh, suffrage. I'm not sure the what the name of the word suffrage or suffrage. <coughs> Do you remember the word piece and I forgot this one? Is that pretty fine? No, 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 no. Not this one. I forgot the spelling. Yes, sacrifice. Oh, this one, this one. Oh. Sacrifice. Okay. Remind yeah. the nowadays generation. The meaning of the sacrifice of our ancestors in the past. Do you think the museum uh, need to uh, ask the visitor pay for a small fee on the tickets? For the tickets or it should be completely free. Oh, I think that um, uh, may, uh, although the uh, we uh, yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. I think that my, the museums ask you to pay to enter it is not something that wrong. Like I think they need to do uh, some business uh, things and uh, like they build the center uh, the, the monuments the. Um, the things that are uh, in the museum by their money and it's okay to sell tickets. Mm. This is a kind of way to raise funds. Uh, oh, yes. uh, and these funds are used as the fee for uh, restoration, uh, restoration and preservation. Um, so uh, I would ask you the question related to the set of questions I sent to you. Can you uh, think of any plans for restoration of the monuments? Mm -hmm. Restorations, make it, well, this means preserve it, protect it. Uh, yes, um, I think the, the monuments should be restored um uh, usually oftenly because um the monuments has many um value uh to um like to inspire the people and uh, uh about the upcoming restoration blendings i'm not sure about uh, the blendings in the future but um the monuments that I have seen looks kind of new and um, 
well restored. So um, I think they uh, they restored the uh, monuments recently, maybe. Okay. So recently, our that work should be done a monthly, annually, or every decade. Decade. Oh. Monthly, annually, or every decade. Uh, every five years, every ten years. Uh, maybe monthly. Monthly. So the organization should have some employees work on that uh, task. The Eastman take the responsibility for well reserve the monuments every month because it's their job. Mm. So how about the, uh, the other question also related to this one? Uh, do you think the museum should uh, assign uh, someone like a tool guide uh, standing next to the monuments and waiting until uh, when there's some a visitor come into the monuments and that tool guide will help them explain the meaning of the monuments or uh, the visitors can read the introduction of the significance of the monuments uh, maybe in the board place below the monuments under the monuments they need to pay money uh, to pay hire, uh, yeah, the tool guide or read the well prepared uh, board. Mm. Uh, yes, um, I think it depends on uh, how much you paid for the tickets to enter the monument at uh, the, the museum. But um, at most um situation, I think the monument or uh, the, the museums should um hire uh people. To do mm. the tour guide because mm. um some tourists are not um uh, they are not um uh, understanding and ha have the interested in the value of the monuments and they need mm. someone to um uh, inter uh, to instruct in, in introduce, uh, in the, introduce to them introduce to mm. them and mm. to give them the information in uh easy way in mm. uh like it make uh, the, the people the tour guide make it um interesting more interesting and easier yeah. to um um yeah to let them know the information yeah uh and also add another um detail so example uh there sometimes uh Sometimes there's a really high, a really long story behind a statue. The historical, this means one monument brings a deeply meaningful story related to the historical history. And if you write a board, and somehow you can provide a summary of the significance so it cannot have to uh trans trans conveys all the, the whole meaning to the visitor and i think a tour guide would make it more lively and interesting uh, for the visitor to comprehend the deeply meaning of the story i agree with you it would be more meaningful if we have a tour guide to provide that mm. uh have you ever visit uh museums? Visits? Uh, no, you... I haven't. Yeah, visit have it, Okay. So after this lesson, do you think uh are you interested in history or in the future you will spend time taking a tour to uh sorry paying a visit to a museum in the in Ho Chi Minh City? Yes, I think in the near future, maybe um next month. If I um like I think I will um ask my friends to um um join with me on some maybe museum tour to some art museum. Okay. Um I have another ideas I want to share with you, but before sharing, I want to ask you more about your awareness. Do you think history is important uh for 
the generations, including in the past until now, the the past generation. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. I think history is always uh important thanks to every generation, whether in the past, in the present, or in the future, because the people um significantly um particularly like in um this country they should know about how hard it is it it was in the past to to mm -hmm. for um the to have peace heroes uh, yes mm -hmm. to have peace to live freely nowadays mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. they should be thankful yes they should be thankful mm -hmm. yeah should be thankful I'm sorry, I need to check one more time. The word thankful and grateful. Okay, no point. Okay, so we feel grateful for the heroes sacrifice and we feel thankful because we uh, were born in Vietnam. <laughs> We're thankful for something good had happened. And graceful because someone else work, someone has done something. For example, I uh, uh, I help you to practice English and finish your target with a good record. And um, so you can find a good job. You feel grateful. But you feel thankful because you have a happy family. <laughs> That's a good thing in your life can happen. In real life. Okay, so we feel grateful for our heroes in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, I, just, I want to ask you another question. Ah, do you think if you learn a language, uh, learning about the history is helpful for your learning journey, language learning journey? Um. Yes, I think like in the language learning process, um, we should learn um uh, like everything that in the culture of the language because, um, in my opinion, like the best way to learn some language is to know about the culture, to know mm -hmm. about the, um, like the nation of mm -hmm. the the language that we wow. can, um, uh, yes, we can develop. Uh, well, uh, we can have um, process. We can make process in the mm. learning process. Okay. Uh, are you curious about uh, the reason why I give you a set of four questions related to topic of monuments? But I asked you some question also related to this one. But it's not exactly the question I gave you. Uh, no, I'm not curious. Uh, I'm not curious at all. Mm, okay, it's, it's normal. Uh, I want to provide you specific questions. And when you need to look for the sample ideas, it have you uh, first have you get more general knowledge about that problem, that issues, that topic. And second, you learn more new words. And it's good for you. And today I feel like you have more ideas. You are in an active mood. When you provide me the answer, expressing your idea in this topics rather than previous lesson on culture, because you now you have you have general knowledge about that, and y'all might help you to record the verb, the 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 words, uh, pretty quickly rather than, uh, the previous one experience. I sometimes give you the question, but I don't ask you exactly the same question in real practice, and it's the same, uh happen in, in the speaking test, you prepare a lot of questions, but during the test, the examiner asks you another question. But, however, we can also use our past learning new words. The new words from our past learning experience and you apply using for some ideas. Sometimes you can reuse that. Sometimes you need to uh, make it a little different. You change the way you use and you change the ideas and make it more suitable. Ah, okay. Oh. Mm. Next, about the restaurants. 
what do you think about restaurant? Are you interested in having uh, meals in the restaurant? Uh, yes, but there's some uh, like uh, restaurant that you can find on the road because, you know, I don't have money to afford um, expensive ones. Mm -hmm. So do you think uh, having meals in the restaurants in a luxury, luxury, luxurious restaurant mm, can be considered as the symbol of your uh, high quality life? Mm. Um, yes, maybe. Uh, I haven't lived a luxurious life before, but um, I think when we have money, we should like um, spend our time in those kind of restaurants because it's not only about the food, it's about the 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 service, the service and uh, the atmosphere there. Mm. Okay. Uh, if I had a lot of money in the past, in the past, uh, my mindset was different from now. I see it was, was so expensive. It was so expensive and costly. If spending a lot of money having a meals in a restaurant, <laughs> but now I still keep that mindset. But um, somehow I would spend uh acceptable amount of money to have been meals in the medium restaurant with uh can provide me a uh, fine dining experience in joining some kind of uh high quality dishes uh but one day when you have the job and you can earn uh, maybe uh it's not considered as so much money but uh your salary is above the average income in Vietnam, uh, a range from 10 to 15 million a month. Do you think you spend uh, uh, maybe half of your salary have been uh, fine dining in the restaurant? Have you in the fine no, dining no, no, restaurants? No, no never. No. <laughs> no. When we... When um I had my like salary, I think I would spend it on um, buying a house first and then uh -huh. a car maybe, but not mm. not never never be a expensive meal. It's not necessary. You have another way to uh enjoy your life. It's not definitely having the yes. meals in the restaurant. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. What do you think about having our party at the barbecue or at the uh, buffet buffet oh, restaurant yes you think it's <laughs> save money yeah, i think mm -hmm. uh, um, it's not about money but when we like i think having a barbecue or go to a buffet restaurant is kind of good only it's, it's kind of okay only you go with your friend Mm. Uh, yes, to enjoy the meal together. Okay. Uh, cuisine, cuisine. Uh, mm, tell me your uh, feeling about the cuisine in our local village and the cuisine in the big city. Uh, is similar uh, or different? Yes, it's kind of similar. Similar, oh, no, 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 it's kind of different. Like in the in our hometown, my favorite meal is pho. But when mm -hmm. I move to um, the city to live, my favorite meal become gom tam because um in uh, in the city here the gom tam uh, gom tam feels different. Like the the meat is more tender and the sauce they serve with gom tam. Uh, like taste different, and it makes mm. gom tam a good meal, uh, a a good dish. I can have mm. gom tam for two days in a row without feeling bored, feeling boring. Without feeling bored, without feeling bored is because you feel bored. Without feeling bored, okay. Um. Okay. So you like fur in our hometown, but actually fur. For us, 
for us a region is not in our hometown it's from the north of vietnam do you want to try in the future having a chance traveling to by the north of vietnam and try the real traditional for us in the north of vietnam Yes, yes. Um, like in fact, it's one of my dreams to uh, taste pho in like Hue or maybe Hanoi. Okay, for her, for is from Huế, Bún Bò Huế. Sorry, for is from Hanoi. Actually, for Oh. Bắc Ninh, it's the real traditional and it's really traditional. And, uh, you know, Bún Bò Huế, so you know the name? It's uh, from Huế. They try to uh, uh, afford the tickets, flying to Huế. Plan to go and enjoy the real uh, taste from this one. Uh, what food in our local hometown that make you like the best, uh, excluding pho? Mm. Mm. like I think is um I, I only like for in the in our hometown, but if I have to say I think is gonna be gọi cuốn. <laughs> I, I guess uh, gói cuốn that kind of food comes from Ho Chi Minh City because the first time I saw that dish uh, when I was at university and many years later I just see it in our hometown mm, okay so you like some kind of fast food uh, okay Blah, blah, blah. no Oh, yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay uh so you try some uh small food store and you wouldn't uh spend money on uh, a fine dining meal in the restaurant uh what do so tell me your experience imagine one day you uh you have a chance having a meal in the restaurant uh maybe paid by your own money maybe you are invited by someone you know so imagine about the experience at that time Oh, well, I think like if someone, of course, someone invite me, I think I would dress, um, yes, um, I would, I would dress, um, well and, uh, do my makeup maybe to, um, suit the atmosphere there Uh, and, yeah. uh, Uh, if uh, if uh, if they tell me to choose the meal, I think beef steak would be my my best choice, and maybe some salad with um served with um some wine, some red wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, what do you think you would be extremely satisfied with the flavor of the food? in the restaurants Mm, I think that maybe I will because uh, you know it's a restaurant and they have um good chef to do the dishes and maybe mm. um it will like it tastes different and even though the even if the food is not good is uh, doesn't taste good um we still have uh like the service and uh decorating around or maybe just the atmosphere at the restaurant that uh, Mm those can make me happy and satisfied -hmm. with the meal. Okay. Um, to me, when mentioning the meals in the restaurant, people would think of the delicious flavor. Uh, so when I was a little girl, I have a I had a strong desire having a meal in the restaurant because restaurant and the luxury of it uh, brings the feeling of having extremely delicious meal. Uh, when I have a chance to have meal in the medium restaurant, I medium-sized restaurant, I realized that, uh, of course, most of the restaurant offer you a wider choice of delicious food, uh, but somehow, I would feel it's difficult to eat 
because the menu, uh, the, the food flavors doesn't suit my taste. You know, I like eat the help. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it depends on our flavors too. Not uh, not only the uh, the 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 level of the restaurant, may uh, the large, how large or medium or small the restaurant is. This also depends our flavor. You went to the restaurant within your your region, your hometown. This means it suits your flavor, extremely delicious. But if you move to the restaurant in uh, other provinces, different people in different uh, provinces in our country have different flavors. So uh, to me, it depends on your flavor too. Do you prefer dining out? Is it having a dinner? Having dinner um, mm -hmm. outside, okay? Dining out or okay. cooking at home? Which one do you prefer? Uh, okay, okay. Well, I think um, homemade dishes would be my best choice. But mm -hmm. at the recent time, like uh, me and my friends cannot, uh, we don't have the equipment uh, to use for cooking and we don't have the you know, spices so we cannot cook at home so when it's dinner we just um go outside and buy something to eat mm. so this means because uh, you don't really want to eat out just because your current conditions uh doesn't allow oh. you to cook as you wish <laughs> yes yes uh, and it's, it's also provides you the convenience. You can save time uh, and uh, sometimes it's, you save time and you can save your uh, labor. Like uh, for someone who are not good at cooking, someone who is not good at cooking, it's a little difficult for them to make a satisfying dish. Um, okay. Okay, tell me your idea about the feeling when you can cook at home, having meal at home every day with your family, maybe alone. So we don't consider about the money we spend on buying the cooking utensils. Uh, in the condition that you have all of the necessary tools for you to cook, and you also have uh, full of ingredients that you need for the dishes. So tell me the feeling when you can cook, cook at home. Uh, I think that um, if I have a mood in um, cooking at the time, like I really want to um, spend my time or my I, uh, I really want to cook the meal for the family, that would be so uh, like I will, I will feel proud of myself. But if I have to cook every day, like cooking is a must, must do activity in the day, that would be so boring and tired mm. and sorted. Like I have to mm. do it every day. It's not depends on my mood. Okay, it's tiring and exhausting. Uh, it, make, mm -hmm. uh, it makes us tired and exhausted. But it is, but as a deep thing, it is tiring and exhausting. Uh, oh. So in a context that in the situation that you are good at cooking, and you can oh. enjoy cooking. Okay, you find cooking okay. is an enjoyable activity. So do you invest more time and money uh, for your cooking? Like uh, uh, um, reading some books online or finding uh, cookbooks for yourself. Uh, explore the new recipe. And uh, because you want to make a homemade delicious homemade dishes for your loved ones, the person you love, like uh, family members. Okay. So tell me if you are a person who really love cooking. Imagine at that time, what would you you feel? Oh yes, I think um um if I love cooking that much. I think uh, cooking will be a enjoyable activity that I have in our daily life. It can like mm -hmm. um release my stress from work, from study, uh, from studying, and um, maybe like um 
seen my watching my uh, loved ones um, enjoy my meals like um, brings me some happy feeling and um, yeah that's it and maybe I will love cooking one day Okay, so uh, seeing my loved one, not watching my loved one, seeing, seeing, it's oh suitable. Okay. Uh, okay I was about yeah. to say that Okay, <laughs> I heard that. You say uh, seeing and then you correct the watching. I think it's okay. But seeing, seeing. Okay. Um, do you know any uh, highly recommended restaurant in your hometown? In my hometown, um, when I was still in the hometown, I think uh, Upjung would be the best choice for you, for the tourist. But uh, yeah, Upjung, the best. They serve How it. about They the? serve the... Uh, yeah, sorry. Guys. Yeah, yeah, continue. The price, the service, uh, okay, the yeah. environment. Like, that like the foods there um suits my flavor a lot and um it comes with the reasonable price and uh the restaurant uh, the, 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 the place is usually crowded crowded and um like you feel like you're having a dish in uh mm, no uh, that's it that's it yeah the food in this dish and okay Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe it. maybe you say have been a dish in that uh, place. The in that place this, uh, brings you a good experience. Yeah, bring you a good experience. Uh, okay. Is it noisy? Is it noisy yes, in that place? The, uh, yes, it is crowded and very busy. A uh, noisy, noisy. Is it annoying to the visitors? No, no, I don't think so. That uh, the place looks um very um, uh, enjoyable and the mood is good when it's crowded. Mm. Okay. And when someone uh, when uh, you choose the restaurant, I still have a meal on one day, and every time you um stand in front of this restaurant, and seeing nobody having a meal in that place, and you feel Reluctant. Ah, uh, you are hesitant to decide whether or not uh, order some food in that place or just turn back and find another restaurant. Somehow we feel like, why is that restaurant so quite empty? Is that because the service or the price or the flavor, uh, which are not suitable for uh, the maybe the customers? Next, the uh, nightlife. Do you think the nightlife in Ho Chi Minh City share the same features as the nightlife in our hometown? Um, I don't think so, because um, Ho Chi Minh Street is a very bustle and hustle city. And uh, mm -hmm. when you go outside, the, the roads, the streets are... Um, always grounded and it looks busy and noisy to me and mm -hmm. uh, I prefer the feeling in our our hometown because mm -hmm. um, it makes me feel peaceful and relaxed. Are there any spots? This means the places in our hometown for people who enjoy nightlife? Yes, um, there are one place that located in um, that is located in the district. One is called uh, something Nguyễn Huệ. Oh, something Nguyễn Huệ. Um, you have been to that place or just uh have passed? You no, know, went gone past. Yes, um, I have. Like went past there like for two times, and I was about to um go inside, but it looks very busy and the mm. traffic, the, the traffic is horrible, and I think I won't be able to like 
You, you mean in Ho Chi Minh City or in our hometown? Uh, yes, in Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, okay. Uh, is there a form of nightlife in our hometown? Um, yes, to uh, my me and my friends or um, a lot of people else, um, they enjoy their life like um, they drive to the beach and um, they they have a um beach walk. They walk around the you know the the sea coast the beach the, the coast uh, yes the beach and um they enjoy the wind the atmosphere um mm -hmm. at the beach okay so this is the kind of natural relaxant at night uh, how about the nightlife entertainment uh, I'm not sure the words uh, in English better say maybe the Fun fair, the fun fair. It is not really big in our hometown. Sometimes there's a crew uh, celebrating a fun fair, traveling to the small area, provide some interesting activities in our hometown. It's not really as big as this one. This kind of fun fair in our hometown, like this one. Uh, oh. is there often? Uh, that kind of nightlife for entertainment in our in your hometown. Yes, um, it used to be a like a fun fair which is located in um in the in the center of the town, but mm. um it moved to another area now. And uh, like in the past, it has uh some exciting activity. Um, like nhà hơi or bắn cá and mm. uh, it uh, attracts uh, attracts um attracted yeah attracted a lot of people um but nowadays uh, the fun fair is just for kids like um I feel like it's not suitable for me or my friends anymore because it looks boring and mm. it doesn't like have much activities. Okay, just suitable for children. In the past, attracted a lot of people. So, who are the same age as you when you were a baby girl? Yes, even adults. Younger, even adults, okay. Uh, so, to your personality, do you enjoy spending your quiet evenings at home or going out for a nightlife activities? Um, uh, like it depends on who am I gonna enjoy the night with. Like, um, I want to spend the night with my family in the house, maybe to have mm. some meal together or to mm. watch some TV show together in the living room. But if mm. I go out with my friends, um, I usually, um, advise them to, spend the night at the beach or at the park mm. okay mm. Yeah. so what if you one day you feel really stressed really stressed uh, because you are under a lot of pressures of study uh, pressure from study and work so would you prefer to hang out or just stay in your own corner in the room and uh, reflect everything happened and then you can uh, heal your own soul or yes. you need some partner uh, hanging out at the night, uh, hanging out for nightlife activities. Uh, yes, um, I think if I have, um, if at that time I have money to afford a um, car a, a night with my friends i think i would um like spend a night with my friends enjoying some meal or go into some quiet places to have some conversation but if at that time um like i i don't have money i just stay mm. in my room and go to sleep okay so it also depends on your conditions Yes. Sometimes we really want to do that, but uh, uh, some conditions 
maybe difficult time but like uh, prevents you from doing the thing you you really like uh sure. have you ever attended a musical show or have you ever been mm -hmm. to a concert at night um i only have like attended in the dance group the dance group of my class in um, the high school years like two years ago but mm -hmm. um at the music festival like um, in the in the Ho Chi Minh City I haven't attend anyone uh, uh, any any kind of festival like that it used to be in the past when I were still in the town mm -hmm. okay. Uh, do you think Ho Chi Minh City would be a perfect place for people who enjoy nightlife? Yes, I think uh, Ho Chi Minh City is the best way for people to um to enjoy um the nightlife nightlife because yeah it looks fun and it's always crowded, always noisy, and uh, mm -hmm. to some people that like. Um, to spend their time um, enjoying the um, the nightlife. I think Ho Chi Minh City is the best for them. Okay, so nightlife is suitable for a uh, kind of introvert, introvert or extrovert person. Introvert. Yeah. Can you and you got it? Understand the question? Yes, yes. Okay. Not life uh, is suitable for introvert or extrovert. Yes, I think the extrovert will like um like night night life more because you know the introvert in my um thinking they don't like the noisy uh the 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 the, the busy life here. Or the busy life. Uh, when they go outside, they just like to. In my in my own thinking, um, the introverts like to spend their time in a quiet place, um, without interacting or, um, to, um, yes, to interacting with someone else. Mm -hmm. So uh, nightlife will suit extrovert more. So another question related to not life, you mentioned that if you have additions like you have money, you would uh, hang out with your friend, enjoy some net life activities. Uh, if you don't stay at home, do you think night fly experience and night fly activities are really expensive to join or people who have no money can also go to these places? and relax and unwind without spending much money yes i think um nightlife is not um always about having um meals on uh in expensive restaurants or going to um big musical festival or something nightlife is just um like going out and enjoying the the atmosphere at night um like when you have little money you can just ride or uh, you have you can just have a um to ride tour um around the city um you can mm -hmm. just uh, only need to pay for the gas fee and that's mm -hmm. enough Okay, sometimes pay for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. It isn't costly. You are a normal person, uh, yes. except the person no penny cannot afford. I think with a, a reasonable price, we can uh, enjoy our night life. Sometimes it's good for us. Um, do you spend time outside at night? Uh, recently in Ho Chi Minh City um, so that you can explore more uh, some uh, famous population populous destination or explore some uh, new features and it can bring you a, a, a new view a 
a new view about the uh, big city that you are living in? Yes. Um. At night. Uh. Usually at night. I um. I um. Ask my friends to, like, hang out with me, cause you know I'm still new to the city and um, I have so much to has to learn. So I try to spend my time outside the house to learn to discover some new things about the city. Okay. Is it dangerous or it's not more? Uh. Yes. The the traffic. is like the worst to me but um i'm a careful driver so i don't i don't have so much trouble in driving around the city You don't have so much trouble. Trouble. yes yes Okay, trouble. trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when people move to a new place, we need to learn how to adapt to the new environment. How can you adapt to the nightlife in Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, for example, do you sometimes use social media to get yourself updated about the upcoming events or party? that will happening in the recent time in the near future. Um, yes, I do because, um, you know, I have some so much free time and serving internet is um, what I'm doing the most. And um, I really enjoy the feeling to um, know more about the information of upcoming events. But Mm. I feel like I don't have um, a mood, the mood or time to attend a party or a festival or something i just um like to know about it online and and that's it Mm. okay uh um is there any park is there any park uh new york accommodation uh park yes yes there's um a part it um it it His name was like something lean and um I uh to spend my Saturday at the park with my friends next uh last week. Mm. What can you do there? Um the park has some uh, um some entertainment area for you, but like it has some funny uh funny shaped statue and um The benches, yes, the benches around the lake. So you can sit and have some conversation or, um, oh, yes, it has some uh, store that sells souvenirs and um, foods to food to at the Mm. park. Mm. Are, there many, are there many people spending their evening at the park like you Um, in that way? okay. Um, Uh, the the day I was um I I went to the park was rainy a lot and there are not many people at the park. It Okay, was on not the many. day, Yes. on the day that I went, uh, do you think in the future you would uh, return to this park, to that park regularly, uh, maybe for some fun activities or uh, unwind? Uh, it means uh, relax, let your mind relax. Yes, um, I think maybe in the future, but one thing that disturbs me is that I have to pay um, $6,000 to leave the bike there, to leave my motorbike there, and uh, maybe I will find another park. Mm. Oh, so six thousand dollars it seems to be expensive for a parking of a bike to find Yes. a parking lot for a bike. Okay. Um, do you think uh parks are ideal places for the local residents to gather? Maybe for some uh exercise activities or for the local events. Um yes, uh, I think the park the park would um suit for a uh, would suit for 
like doing exercises, but not for um, celebrating some events like festival events because the park are uh, usually they um they are feel mm, it's just like um it's um feeling of me i feel that it's not suitable for the festival or the events No, you feel it's not not it's not formal enough. yes maybe <laughs> it's not formal okay. Uh, I see the parks in our hometown. The park in our hometown is completely different from parks in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, Yes. I used to visit uh March twenty ninth park in District One, and uh, at that time. I'm not sure about now, but at that time, uh, um, there was often a festival, festival events, events of festival, maybe flower festival, uh, another kind of events. I'm not sure about the name, but these, uh, these events or festival were celebrated in extremely large. A spacious park. This looks like the center of District 1 and people use that public places organizing uh, special events of course for some purpose like generating uh, I mean uh, for uh, developing uh, advertising uh, the culture or sometimes they consider that events Uh, for displaying selling products from uh, some companies it's me some sometimes it's, uh, the park is uh, used for used as the venue this means the place the venue for the exhibit exhibition in my opinion I think in my opinion it depends on the size of the park sometimes it's just a normal park for people to exercise sometimes people use the light at park for formal events, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, are there many clubs for younger generations? Uh, uh, many clubs for younger generations that operate operating in the park suitable for younger generations. For instance, music club, English club, Uh, small clubs like this. Oh, I think that um I'm not sure, but I haven't seen any club that um for generation uh for younger generation that take place in the park. Um, the the clubs that I know only like take place in university. Um, maybe you have never seen uh, maybe and I guess you can witness um, this kind of club at the park uh, I realized that parks are the uh, public places for all people at all ages uh, for enjoying some free time activities for free they don't need to pay money for the tickets and It's the good place, ideal place for them to gather together for social gathering, gather together for social activities, social interactions. Uh, it's meant for socialized social interactions. People can uh, have an appointment, have a meeting. Meetings mean you meet someone, you meet your friend. Isn't also called a meeting. So have a meeting, have a social interactions with someone at the park. But it's just for maybe for fun. activities uh okay i we continue to turn to the reading text ah we correct the text and this one now repeat up to me uh athlete 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 Oh, athlete. ethic Ethic. fearless Feel, fearless. He a heavyweight championship. Heavyweight championship.
boasting about his ability is mean he want to show. You see it. He feel overconfident about his ability. Ah, uh, he uh. want other people pay attention to him because he have good ability boasting. Number one, please. What is B? Mm. Keyword. Tell me the details. Yes, is um. Um, yes, it's on the line five. Not only was he a successful athlete, but he also um well known for a strong something's name. Okay. Not only the ability, but also for a fearless approach, a strong work ethic mm -hmm. and fearless approach. Correct? Number two. Yes, is B. Mm, detail. Um, it's on the um seven line. Um, mm. he referred to himself as the greatest. Mm, okay. Do you think he is so overconfident, or it's just normal for someone who is successful in his life? <laughs> yes, I think it's completely normal, especially um um for Muhammad Ali. Like he's the one of the best um boxing athlete and mm. like he has he has the um, confidence to be to be um show off like that uh, to to show off. And he has the confidence to show off. Yeah, show off his ability. Uh, the next one. Okay, number one. Yes, is um B and C. Mm. She be she has become so famous because detail for B and detail for D. Yes, is on the sixth line. Um, she has become known for her determination, powerful game, and unique fashion scenes. And this one strong tennis game and self belief. Uh, when you do something, do you feel you have a strong de determination? And uh, what have you stayed focused on your goal? Mm. Okay, skip it. Number two. Okay. Uh, is uh, B and C. Mm, B and C. Information. Yes, it's on the um, in fact part. Um, was uh, they were training to be tennis stars, and um, their father also took responsibility for their homeschooling. Okay, first study and uh, training. The last one, her tennis game is so successful because um yes is A and B. Mm, correct. Information details. Uh yes is um the part uh she is so successful on the tennis court because of her rapid movement movement, speed of heart and powerful shots. Okay, powerful shots mean hit the ball hard. Yes. And rapid movement is bit of thoughts and things quickly, correct? Okay. Well, now I return to my question. Uh, but I change in another way, uh, in other way to ask you. Uh, mm. What is the role of determination for one people to get their success? You know yes. determination, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think that um to some people, uh, like in their job or in their um daily life, there are some like moments that call chance, and the chances uh won't come like uh in the second time. Like some chance only come for the only time, the first time, and people have to be um determined to. To make choice, to make um decision quickly, 
um, to catch the chance or else they will miss the chance and they will never have it again. So people should be determined for in most situation. I'm oh, sorry. Determined. Determined. Oh, As a thing, determined. Okay. It's the strong power for someone to stay focused in their goal. Some people get distracted easily uh, from their destination. So, discrimination begins in bottom rows. The journey. Okay. Next. Determined. But Beckham, do you know him? I don't know him. <laughs> yes, yes. He's very handsome. Uh, who is he? What is his job? Um, I think he was a... He used to be a successful football player in um, in the UK team. But mm. now, uh, but at the present, he's, um, he's widely known for um, doing some, like... Uh, for some brain, I forgot that word, like, um, um way down, but I forgot that word. Advertisement. Oh, it was advertisement. advertisement. So he is famous because he appeared. He was famous because he appeared uh, on advertisement widely or because his talent. Uh, yes, Um. he, uh, he, was like firstly um famous for his his appearance and talent in the past mm -hmm. but he's become more famous when he um become the face for some cosmetic brands for oh. some uh, shoe brands mm -hmm. okay uh, so this means that fan can bring him in chat uh, specifically and other people in general a lot of money fame brings fame. people money Fa fame this means the now of famous yes fame uh, fame brings people money or money brings people fame <laughs> oh sorry is, is that a question Yes, I ask you. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think that um the fame the fame would bring money to people because um mm. nowadays we have so much money that can I so much people that can do anything for fame, mm. and we 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 um we even have a word for people like that. It's called bull fame, and uh, um, you know when. When we have, when they have fame, enough fame, they want they can they, be, they become famous. Some brand will give them the products, and they become the um the face that present for present I uh, yes present for the brand, so that the brand will be known for of uh, known uh widely, mm. and they can sell mm. products. Yeah, become a brand. Uh, representative, huh? yeah. representative, representative, the person who uh, presents for a brand or company become a brand representative. It told me they uh, can do everything on the journey they reach as long as this can help them uh, reach the fame they need. Uh, do they invest money and time? To reach their goal, or it's not it's costly, or it doesn't cost money. Uh, when they do something to make themselves become famous. No, I don't think that they they need so much money for that because um the internet nowadays is very developed, and they mm -hmm. can like post something online and they can famous for it they get viral for it and um mm. they become famous it's easier these days ah so they became a they became a famous person because good reputation or bad reputation or both 
good reputation and bad reputation. Oh, yes. Um, like they they can become famous for both um good or bad reputation, but um to most people, like they want their fame to last longer. They want to be famous a bit a little bit longer. They want to be they want to be known for a good person. Um, they usually have to be a good person to have um good example. To, to to make good example, like they want to be um, famous for uh, like uh, to inspire someone and the, the red reputation or uh, the bad reputation wants usually get um criticized and um not uh famous for a long time. Okay, so uh, in your viewpoint. Uh, if they have good reputation, they can earn more, or it doesn't matter how famous they are, it depends on their talent to earn money from their fame. Yes, I think that um, the more famous you are, the more the more money you money. can get. easy easily but if you want to make money like um stably you have to be you have to be very talented okay uh, um i heard that from a lot of people uh, in reality not only online but also in reality uh, they said that if you want to earn money This means you do business. When you do business, you need to be a bad person. If you are a good person, it's difficult for you to earn money. Do you think so? I don't know much about the business environment, but I think the point that you have to be a bad person is not, is like, is, mm, Specific. is true. Uh, yes, because like um, in some situation, you have to be strict. You have to be very competitive, uh, competitive, uh, very Competitive. like Mm -hmm. uh, competitive. Yes, competitive. Um, you you must like uh took all the ten uh you took every chance you can uh to market in your market to market in your Market product. your sell, uh, your product. Oh, yes, Market yes, your okay. product. Okay. Yes. Now, what is the best title for this article about this person? Um, is B. B. Uh, read this one, please. Yes, Despite. is. Despite all the media attention, was Beckham a good football player? Okay, that's the correct title. So after you read the, the article, so the answer for this one is yes or no? Yes, I think it's a very good football player because um, before he gets um, uh, very famous um, at the present, He used to be a talented football player, like he's the captain for the UK team. Mm Okay, and uh, I don't know him. <laughs> I just say the sentence. Uh, he is -hmm. actually an exceptionally good football player. Okay, um, talent bring you fame. Fame help you earn money. Do you want to become a famous person in the future? Um. I don't think so because, you know, being famous is good to uh, have many people to know about you, but um, they have a drawback of it. Like um, your, my life, my life would not, will not be private. It has to be public for my fan, for the people in the society and um, people like me and people hate me. They, they will criticize me and I cannot believe. Um, happily or freely like used to be in the past Mm. it's difficult to live the normal life as you used to have <laughs> okay yes
Uh, just two minutes. I I I just can uh, go over the answers and don't explain this one until the next lesson. Just give me the answer number one, please. Uh, B. Correct. Number two. Um, C. Correct. Number three. B. B. Okay. And the last one. Um, is B. B. Okay. Uh. I think it's good for now because uh, you are in active uh, preposition, uh, preparation for the uh, topics. I think it's a little difficult, even to me, uh, different oh. topics, especially the museum and nightlife and the uh, monuments. I think it's okay. No more for you today. We will continue oh. the next topic for the next lesson. Okay, thank you. Okay. Goodbye. See you next time. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice.